everyone my name is Ashley and welcome to my channel her homemaking heart for today's video I'm going to be sharing our language arts curriculum picks for my daughter who's going into second grade and my daughter who's going into fourth grade so if you are a homeschool mom or dad or grandma or parent whatever the case may be let's get into the video So my two children who are currently doing language arts are going into grade two and into grade four. So that is the grades that I will be sharing with you guys. Um, but I definitely think obviously when you're homeschooling grade levels it may vary. So for whoever this may help, um, I am just going to be sharing, like I said, our language arts curriculum picks. Um, so I thought I would start out by saying I actually did a video a few months ago of curriculum I was actually considering for this upcoming school year. I will leave that link below in case you guys are interested in kind of browsing through everything that we were considering for this year. However, this curriculum, <laughs> interestingly enough, was not even on that list. It was kind of a last minute decision. So I was pretty sure I was going to use the good and the beautiful for language arts. However, there were a few reasons I didn't really think it was the best fit. Um, it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for, for the price point that I wanted to spend. And I actually am going to be kind of doing a lot of unit studies this year, I'm hoping with the girls. And so I knew that I wanted something that wouldn't be the core of our homeschool curriculum. Um, and so the good and the beautiful, as lovely as it is, I felt like it just didn't really fit into what I was trying to do this school year. And so um, ultimately, I decided not to use it. And also what I want to say is, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of printing because I think I'm going to go back and forth with some gather round unit studies as well as campfire curriculum. I'm not really sure if I will use one or the other or kind of use a little bit of both. Um, but basically I want to do a lot of unit studies this year. So I am anticipating that I'm going to print those. And to be quite honest, I just didn't want another thing that I would have to print because I personally find printing really tedious and yeah. So I didn't want to spend the money for the good and the beautiful and I didn't want to print it and so it just wasn't exactly what I wanted. Um, anyways, so I want to show you guys what I did decide on. This was a really last minute choice. I actually found this language arts curriculum while I was just browsing through curriculums and I felt really led to go to the Christian book website and look at their curriculum because it has been a minute since I've ordered anything from that website and I was just interested as to what they kind of had and so I stumbled I will show you my second graders first I stumbled across the my father's world language arts um so if you guys are not subscribed I recently, as of the last school year, started to follow more of a Charlotte Mason homeschool sort of style and my children and I have really been doing well with that. And so whenever I found My Father's World before, I was under the impression that this program had to be used with the My Father's World curriculum as kind of the spine of your homeschool um, because they take kind of a different approach I'm not really sure what you would call it but basically they have kind of a I think it's like a unit study approach I'm not really sure someone correct me if you know but this actually goes along with their kind of all-in-one curriculum however I wasn't interested in the all-in one through my father's world and the only reason for that is because we are not American and I find my father's world um, some of the years are a little more geared towards like American culture and like American politics and stuff which I think obviously is like good information but because we're Canadian it's just not really something I want to focus on as like a 
as like the spine of our homeschool and so that's one reason why I've not wanted to use my father's world in the past although I've heard wonderful things and so I was pretty surprised that you could just actually buy the language arts and use it without and so for the my father's world language arts it is definitely a gentle approach it is very charlotte mason the lessons are very much teacher led and they are short kind of to the point which i love i will actually go ahead and do like a flip through either in this video or another video i'll probably do it in this video at the end um but the lessons are definitely very much on the charlotte mason side and so i thought it would be a really good addition to our unit studies and so i'm really excited about this curriculum the price was right i will leave it in the description as well these books were about 19 something each um a little bit more for me because i am in canada so about 25 or so but i still think it is really really worth it i spent under budget for both of my girls for their language arts that i would have spent on each of them if i were using the good and the beautiful or an alternative curriculum and so i think i definitely got them for a really good price and i was just really glad because they are charlotte mason inspired and like they are really charlotte mason inspired and so i was just really excited for that and so we are going to be using this for my second grader so just wanted to go ahead and say i will most likely be adding um even more spelling to this if i feel that is required my fourth grader will be using even more spelling as well she's actually already started her fourth grade spelling at the end of last year so she's going to continue to use her even more spelling and i will probably add it for my second grader as i see it's needed um and we are also going to be using even more reading which i have yet to order but when it comes in i will definitely show you guys and probably do like a flip through but yeah we are going to be using this alongside even more and alongside our unit studies but um this is kind of all i've got so far uh, I haven't printed any unit studies. I haven't bought any yet. And so um, when I do, I will definitely show you guys what we're going to do in terms of that. But yeah, this is what we are using for language arts alongside even more reading and spelling. So for my fourth grader, we are also using the language lessons for today for fourth grade. One thing I wanted to say that I also like about My Father's World is the fact that they are non-consumables. So I can use these books over, which to me is, how do you say, um, just very economical. I don't know. I like that. I like when I can use things over. I love curriculums that aren't, that you just, you can use things over and over and over again. And especially if you have multiple children, it's a money saver, especially when you find a program that really fits your educational values. Like I believe this one will. Um, yeah, it's just... It's really good as homeschoolers because you know homeschooling can be expensive um, but besides that you know you're also saving paper you're saving paper it's good for the environment and all of that fun stuff but anyways so yeah this is what my fourth grader is going to be using I don't exactly know where my camera died but um, so yeah my fourth grader is going to be using like I said the language lessons for today However, she will also be using the writing skills for today, which I believe they don't even have this for second grade. I think it actually starts in fourth grade. It might start in third grade. I'm not sure. But anyway, so she's also going to be using the writing skills for today. Um, these literally just came in the mail, so I have not actually looked through it. Um, so I don't know if this is um a non-consumable i actually really don't know i ha i kind of forget to be honest so i do have to kind of look at that but it might not be um either way you know at least the other ones are but i'm not sure if this is but anyways so yeah she's going to also be using the my father's world writing skills for today one thing i wanted to say about the my father's world obviously you know it's a christian curriculum just by the title but um i guess you could assume it, it isn't but you know it's pretty obvious that it is um but yes they are all 
a Christian based curriculum. There is some scripture memory, I believe. I'm not sure everything that the curriculum kind of entails, but I am definitely looking forward to using it this year alongside our unit studies. Um, so I will definitely give you guys a review at a later date, but yeah, this is what we are using for language arts this year. If you are a Charlotte Mason homeschooler and you are looking for something that is Charlotte Mason inspired, definitely go and check these out. I think the price is really good and I'm just really glad that I came across this. It is really exactly what I was looking for, but I didn't know that this was it. So yeah. This is what we are using for this upcoming school year and I will share more as we kind of receive more of our curriculum and so yeah that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed and you are homeschool mom, dad, grandparent, whatever may have you, I hope you will hit that subscribe button and be notified of all future videos. Until then I will see you guys in the next one. Head up high